The Regions Bank Postgame Report. Regions Bank, the official bank of the SEC. With head coach Frank Haith after the Tigers defeat Arkansas by 30 to remain undefeated at home all season long. Coach, that's got to be pretty nice. Not a single team came into this place and beat you this year. Yeah, it's a great feeling, and all it does, it tells you you got really good players and you got a great fan base, and that uh, has been awesome all year. And our, it was just tremendous tonight, and the, the passion in the building and, and the way our guys played. I'm um, just really proud and feel really blessed to be a, be a part of this. We talked yesterday about knowing that there was going to be a lot of emotion in the building tonight, and what was your message to the guys about how to channel that? Because they did a great job of it, I thought. Yeah, and even when the clock, uh, shot clock went down, you know, which kind of delayed the game a little, even a little bit more, um, you know, and you got the ceremony. So you got all those things you got to play and it takes you out of your normal routine. And I thought our guys did a really good job of that and uh, handling it. And, you know, we were so good defensively in the first half, and I, I thought that was key. And obviously we've been playing so well offensively, executing and, um, uh, you know, playing inside out. We get 40-plus points in the paint again tonight. So, uh, but, but our emotions, coaches' emotions, everybody's emotions, I thought were, were, were in check for the most part most of the night. Yeah, you mentioned the defensive effort, and whenever people think about Arkansas and disrupting, quote-unquote, what they do and their style of play, usually it centers around handling the press. But how much did your team's on-the-ball defensive effort really affect the flow of the game? Well, I thought it, you know, we, we shrink the gaps. When you play a team that really drives the ball and look to attack you off the bounce, you know, you got to make them feel like you got two guys guarding them at one time, and you got to have great closeouts. And I thought in the first half we did a great job of that, at shrinking the gaps and having great closeouts. Classic Lawrence Bowers game in his uh, final game here at Mizzou Arena, and that was just a, a joy to see, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I'm proud of him. And, uh, just feel so honored and, uh, and humbled by that fact that I had a chance to get to coach Lawrence Bowers. And he's a wonderful young man. Uh, you know, he's a good player, great player. But, it, but it, it, there's no doubt about the kind of kid he is. He's a tremendous kid. Talking to your guys, it just seems like everybody feels like this thing is, is really moving in the right direction here. You've won three in a row now in the month of March, and that's always a good thing. And, and how do you feel the, the momentum uh, moving the right way right now? I feel good about where we're at. Uh, you know, we still got to grow. We still got to show that, you know, we, we're, we're building on these games and, and getting better each game. And I, and I think that obviously Saturday's game is going to be a tough one. You know, we're playing a team, probably the hottest team in the league, and uh, they're playing so they're playing great. Uh, I got a lot of respect for Quanzo in terms of coach and, and what he does with his team. And it's going to be a tough game for us. Finally, what can you say about the atmosphere here tonight, the atmosphere all season, and, and uh, what the fans have done to help you go undefeated at Mizzou Arena? Uh, electric. It was uh, just uh, uh, unbelievable, just uh, showing out of our, our the Mizzou Nation. And, and um, you know, it, there's no doubt that it, it, the sixth man is in effect when you come to Mizzou, Mizzou Arena. And uh, our guys play off of that, and they, they definitely spurn our guys on. Uh, I'm just, uh, like I said, it was, it was unbelievable tonight.